Casablanca is the largest city in Morocco and also the main harbour. The population is nearly 3 million and it is also the economic and business centre of Morocco. The area was settled by Berbers ever since the 7th century BC. A breakfast consisting of vegetable and chicken pastry and orange juice provides energy for the long ride ahead. Of course you can't come to Morocco without doing a little bit of off-road, so here's our modest beginnings. Maybe we have a chance to do a little bit more. We have a bit of time pressure, getting everything done, the 250 miles each, uh, 250 kilometers each day. But hopefully there'll be time, just aside from doing all the sightseeing. Sand tracks, the seaside, beaches, they're all there to be enjoyed. Casa has a lot to offer to motorcyclists, and I'm glad that the American was wrong. The suburbs of Casablanca extend quite a fair bit, and people seem to live quite comfortably. Back on the road, and hunger starts to develop. Upon asking for soup at a local restaurant in the village, the cook asks us who it is for, and insists that it is only for consumption by locals, as visitors will definitely get ill, and they are not used to the local food and its contents. Oh well, at least he was honest. Along the way lies a city with a river passing through it, and it is time for another stop. And it's in places like this where you get to see what the real rural Morocco looks like. Nice villages along the riverside, very quaint. And even on the countryside you see that Morocco really invests in its infrastructure. But the problem with many stops is that important travel time is lost and one ends up being late and worries about reaching Asafi before sunset. But how often does one come to Morocco? So one takes the risk and enjoys as much of the attractions and scenery as possible, like this beach. Morocco is also a place where one can do lots of off-roading and I've come here to the beach where I can ride on sand. While it was great to hire a motorcycle, I am more worried than others of dropping and damaging it as it is not my own. It of course would have been better to ride one's own motorcycle here, considering all the prep work we did. A bit nervous that it's not really my motorcycle and I'm a bit worried about dropping it. But hire bikes, despite all their downsides, allow one to experiment with something completely new. Evening sets in and it is now high time to complete the last 60 kilometers to Asafi. A car and motorcycle accident on the way remind of how careful one must be when riding these roads, especially at night. And then finally, arrival in Asafi. After a courageous night ride, sheep's brain and head, Asafi style is on the menu. Never again. But the meat was good. And then after the oh, what's this? Cat fight. And then after the nocturnal madness of the last few cities, we've come to this. The nighttime life. The nightlife of Safi. Absolute tranquility.